Can you hear me? Hello? Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Okay. So, we will start kay Sayang Itatong Time. So, again, good evening. Uh, welcome back to our uh, online class. Uh, sana ang iba makapag-join. But anyway, uh, this uh, online class is recorded. So after our discussions, uh, I will be posting this to our FB group para ang iba na waray maka-join, uh, they can replay uh, this video. Sige, let's proceed. So this is uh, value added tax again, uh, part two. Siring ko pa, uh, value added tax is medyo puro halaba ang restoryahon. Uh, I think value added tax is somehow 15, 10 to 15 items in the board exam. So dapat we have to give emphasis on value added tax. But don't forget to the other topics in taxation. So please provide or give equal uh, attention to all uh, topics in taxation. So let's proceed. So we have five instances of, of input VAT expense in the Philippines. So one, input VAT from local purchases of non-VAT registered. Two, input VAT on exempt transactions. Three, excess of actual input over standard input on sales to government. Four, VAT paid on importation of non-VAT registered importers. And the fifth one is input VAT on zero rated transactions not refunded. So let's proceed to input VAT from local purchases of non-VAT registered uh, taxpayers. So, saan o an input VAT magiging expense? Now, we, we know that the input VAT is deductible or it is credited, creditable against our output VAT to, to compute our VAT payable. But when are we going to expense out input VAT instead of crediting it against output VAT. Input VAT uh, from local purchases of non-VAT registered uh, for VAT registered taxpayer in the Philippines, input VAT is an asset which is deducted to output VAT. Yung sabi natin kanina na input VAT generally is deductible against output VAT to compute our VAT payable. But for non-VAT registered taxpayer, wherein the input VAT is part of the expense, if such transaction is related to expense or part of the cost of the asset, if such transaction is related to purchase of an asset. So kung hikita o sa non-VAT registered and we purchase inventory, uh, we purchase uh, services from a VAT registered person or taxpayer, such input VAT is uh, has has no item that it can be deducted from, such as output VAT. Because when we sell uh, an item or service, we are not allowed to impose output VAT or VAT or 12% VAT. Kaya an atong uh, input VAT from our purchases, acquiring service or goods or asset, uh, ay hindi natin may deduct So, what we need to do is uh, expense it out. I-expense natin, ini nga input VAT, kay waray natin mapag uh, didakan na item which is output VAT. Kay in the very first place, we are not a VAT registered taxpayer. We're in diri kita pwede mag imposing value added tax on our sale. So that is why an input VAT from our purchases 
is expense out. Kung itong transaction is related to expense account. Let's say, ano nga expense account? Let's say, for example, you acquire service. That is an expense account. So, ang iyemo input value from that acquiring a service is expense. Expense out. Another one is when we purchase an asset, let's say, for example, capitalizable asset, the input value of such asset is part of the cost of an asset. So, diri mo niya ig separate record an aton input VAT. While kung VAT registered kita, ito nga input VAT is separately recorded. Pero kay non-VAT registered dia, input VAT is not separately recorded but part of the expense account or part of the asset account. Example, example, a non-VAT taxpayer paid its security agency, watchman security agency, a VAT registered taxpayer amounting to 60,000 pesos, including VAT of 6,428. So, hikita nga non-VAT taxpayer, nag-avail kitahin services from security agency, wherein ito nga security agency is a VAT registered taxpayer. Therefore, ini nga agency nag-impose in value-added tax of 12% na may adada ko ng 6,429. Ini nga input VAT of 6,429 will be considered expense. Diri mo na yan magagamit as deduction to our output VAT kay waray man talaga kita output VAT kay non-VAT taxpayer kita. So I hope it's clear. So kung non-VAT taxpayer and then you um you receive an input VAT from our purchases. Such input VAT will either part of the expense or part of the asset acquired. So another example, uh, purchase of equipment of a non-VAT non taxpayer amounting to 112,000 including VAT of 12%. So yung 12% na input VAT will be part of the cost of the equipment. So an input VAT will be considered cost of the equipment. So therefore, there is no separate accounting of input VAT for a non-VAT registered taxpayer. So what I separate uh, recording of input VAT for a non-VAT registered taxpayer. Let's proceed. Input VAT on exam transactions. So, saan no kita mag-expense mag out in input VAT if a uh, transaction natin is an exam transaction. So, in an exam transaction, the seller cannot impose VAT on sale of goods or services. The input VAT related to the exam transaction cannot be deducted from the output VAT but treated as expense to recover the same. Anong example? We have that example. Example, ABC is a non-VAT taxpayer sold merchandise in a year amounting to 2.5 million. The cost of the merchandise sold as the following data. Purchases from the non-VAT registered supplier, 600,000, Purchases from a non from a VAT registered supplier, including VAT, four hundred forty-eight thousand. So, in reality, class, a uh, non VAT taxpayer, ah, uh, minsan we can purchase a uh, from a VAT registered supplier. So, kaya we receive ah, uh, nabibil kita hin additional twelve percent VAT. So, ito nga 12% VAT, since we are not, we cannot deduct it from our, from output VAT, kay waray man talaga kita output VAT, output VAT kay we are non-VAT taxpayer, kaya an aton input VAT from a purchases from the VAT registered supplier is e, e ano naton, e expense out. 
So how much is the business tax of ABC? Pira ang business tax ni ABC. Kini nga example. So we have 2,500,000 times pera. Uh, anybody, uh, any guess, pera it possible nga business tax na ABC? Kini nga provided nga example. Or anong klase nga business tax subject si ABC? Is it OPT or VAT? OPT, char. OPT of 3%. Tama. So, subject he ABC in 3% of PT. Diri niya subject to value added tax. Kayo na. Diri niya but registered. And kadua, the sales does not exceed but threshold of 3 million. So, therefore, million. tax is only 75,000 75, pesos. 2.5 million times 3% na OPT. Note, kuno, the input VAT of 48,000 will be treated as expense, thus part of the cost of sale. So, ID, na 440,000, giving a 440,000, which is purchases from the VAT registered supplier, and 48,000 ito na VAT, input VAT, will be considered expense, so part of the cost of sale. So, deduction la iyahan net income para ma-recover ni, ni taxpayer ang iya value-added tax. Ngayon pataw ha iya during ang iya pag-purchase. Excess of, out, of actual input over standard input on sales to government. So, uh, government is a authorized withholding agent of taxes. So, pag mayada a sale to the government agencies, uh, the government agency is authorized to withhold uh, taxes. So, kung nagbaligya kan government agency, then the government agency is authorized to withhold 5% value added tax. So, the related input VAT from the sales to the government will be compared to the 7% VAT from the actual input VAT. Yeah, from the actual input VAT. So, the difference will be close to either expense or income account. So, let's proceed to our example para ma maintindihan pa natin further. Example, a VAT registered company has the following data. Sales of goods to private entities, net of VAT, 12.5 million. Purchases of goods to private entity, gross of VAT, 896,000 pesos. Sale of goods to government offices, net of VAT, 1 million pesos. And purchases of goods Related to government, net of VAT is 700,000 pesos. And pakiana didi, how much is the VAT payable and how much is the creditable input VAT? So, class, and, and in again, si siring a creditable input VAT, amuni an input VAT from the purchases so, uh, sold to private entity and um, standard input VAT. That is a combination of input VAT uh, purchases sold to private entities plus the standard input VAT. Kung such transaction is made or such transaction uh, may the sale to government entities. So, Here's our solution. Let's compute first the standard input VAT and the actual input VAT. So purchases sold to private, we have 900, 
896,000. Sering kasi niya is uh, gross. So let's compute the tax base. The tax base is 800,000. 800, so the value added tax is 96,000. Purchases sold to government. And purchases sold to government is 700,000 times 12%. 84,000. Ini nga 700,000 is net abat daw. So therefore, the times mula direct by 12%. So our input VAT is 84,000 pesos. So our actual input VAT is 100, 180,000 pesos. So i-compare nato na natong actual input VAT uh, from the standard input VAT which is Paano nakuha? Uh, ano actual input VAT sold to private which is 96,000 pesos plus 7% of 1 million. Ini nga 1 million amo nito naging baligya to the government entities. So that is 70,000 plus 96. So uh, aton standard input VAT is 166,000 pesos. So the difference 166,000 standard minus actual input VAT, we have a difference of 14,000 pesos. So this 14,000 pesos is part of the expense. Part of the expense, part the cost of sale. So pirat aton VAT payable. So an aton output VAT is computed as 2.5. 5 million plus 1 million times 12%. So our output VAT is 400,000 pesos. So less creditable input VAT, which is uh, which is the actual of 96,000 and the standard input VAT of 70,000. And we have the 5% withholding of 50,000. Ini nga 5% Gin withhold na ni haaton o gin withhold na ni government. So ang pagbayad kan supplier, 50,000 less na. So itong 50,000 is a withholding, final withholding but na 5%. So therefore, uh, do the math, ang atong but payable is 204,000 pesos. Any question? Let's proceed. So VAT on importation of non-VAT registered importers. So basically, uh, import, importations is subject to value added tax. So import, pag nag-import kita, subject or we will pay value added tax of 12% plus mga excise tax uh, custom duties so VAT on imports by the non-VAT registered taxpayer will be treated as expense or part of the cost of the purchased item again since kita is a non-VAT registered taxpayer nga pumalitiyahin mga goods outside Philippines, so he is subject to value-added tax. So ito nga value-added tax, input tax, is not creditable to output tax kay waray man na output tax. So therefore, ito nga input tax is expensed out or part of the cost of the purchased item. Clear. So, VAT on goods or properties. Transactions deemed sales. I'm not mga deemed sales. Deemed sales class as if may ada na hitabo na sales or bintahan. As if uh, there is a there is a constructive sale. 
So kung when you say constructive sale, um, though what I actual sale, it is considered that there is a sale. So that is what we call deemed sale. Example of which is transfer, use, or consumption not in the course of business. So kung gin transfer mo an imo goods, gin gamit mo an imo goods, gin consume mo an imo goods, not in the course of business, such transaction is considered deemed sales. Another example, transfer of goods or properties for personal use. <coughs> so kung gin transfer mo ang goods or properties for personal use, such transaction is considered deemed sales. Plus, ini nga mga transaction, it refers to our regular inventory or goods for sale. So, kung gin, any mga goods nga for sale is ginagamit mo personally as if such transaction is considered sale. As if ginbaligya mo. As ang gintatawag natin nga, deemed sales. As if there is a valid sale transaction. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me, class. We'll just drink the water. So let's proceed. Thank you. Distribution of distribution transfer to shareholders or creditor as payment. So when the corporation ano uh, declared dividends, declare dividends, and then aniya pan declaring dividends instead of cash, aniya gimpan transfer is goods aniya mga tinda aniya gin pambayad to its shareholder instead of cash he or the corporation uh, distribute goods to shareholders such distribution or transfer of goods to shareholder is considered deemed sale or is considered a valid sale transaction or the creditor or transfer to creditor as payment. So, kung nanimo mga goods, let's say, for example, kung mato nanimo creditor ha mo tindahan, and then you have no cash on hand, and then you negotiated with your creditor, naging sering mo nga, uh, I don't have cash on hand, but I have goods here. If you want, goods na lang na nako, nigahatag or babayad dahil. So, if the creditor accepts uh, accepted your uh, goods as payment, then such transfer of goods to creditor is considered sale. As if there is a valid sale transaction. So another one is consignment of goods if actual sale not made within 60 days. So, maram naman kita what is consignment kundi in an inventory of one corp one company is is put into the custody of another company but the condition is that the company or the consignee is liable to remit any proceeds from the consigned goods so kun ini so kun ini nga consigned goods is what i kabenta within 60 days such goods is considered Sold. 
And then another one is retirement from business. So kung ikaw, you decided, a company decided or you decided to retire from the business, you want to stop from the operation for good. Then, ang mga remaining goods in your warehouse or your display room will be considered as sold. So, on mag-retire ka na from the business, then your goods on hand or your ending goods is considered sold. So, ining nga mga dimmed sales, uh, if you have the amount of the dimmed sales, uh, that is subject to value-added tax of 12%. Ining nga mga dimmed sales, subject to value-added tax of 12%. Kung you are a VAT-registered uh, entity. Pero kung you are not a VAT-registered entity, but uh, this transaction happened, then deemed sales is subject to 3% OPT. <coughs> so what is transitional input VAT? The transitional, the taxpayer who became VAT registered person from previously not VAT, non VAT registered shall be entitled to transitional input VAT of 2%. So actual versus the transitional input VAT whichever is higher, asyat aton, gagamiton. So another tax base is the beginning inventory, which is the basis of the transitional input VAT of 2%, regardless of the purchase, whether it is made from a VAT-registered or non-VAT-registered suppliers. Bisan, waray diritya VAT-registered or uh, diritya VAT-registered supplier, such inventory is subject to 2% uh, transitional input tax. So whichever is higher, actual input tax from the, from the VAT registered supplier or the transitional input VAT of 2%. Asya ti mo gagamiton to deduct from your output VAT. Example lady. Please read. So how much is the value added tax Payable. So, ini nga 112518, that is the beginning inventory times 2%, that is now our transitional input. But ini nga duduha nga purchases from the previous year. And then, compute our output tax, 281, then minus our purchases from the current month, uh, input tax, uh, that uh, we can compute our VAT payable. payable. Ito. So output VAT natin, 3372, less input taxes, purchases current month, 8,400, and then the transitional input tax, up to 1,600. Uh, Asya tatong ginagamit, kasi mas higher here compare the actual input tax, up 12,000. So therefore, uh, natin VAT payable is 12,700. 80, 720 pesos. So presumption input but is 4% of the primary agricultural products. So kung pumalit kita hin mga agricultural products, that is subject to presumptive input tax of 4%. Uh, hinulat, uh, pwede hin eh. Taxpayers whose firms are engaged in processing sardines uh, mackerel and milk, and manufacturing refined sugar, cooking oil, and packed noodles based instant meals. So, here la pwede mag avail in presumptive input VAT. It mga uh, companies na doing such uh, uh, businesses, processing of sardines, and manufacturing refined sugar. 4% presumptive input tax. So, we have a remaining of five minutes before time. So, any question? Any question? 
Can you turn on your camera para kita mag-selfie? Screenshot. Hello guys. Hello. Hello. Ada pa kamu? Bayang kamu nang aturog na. Anybody in the room? Ikaturog na si Miss Elma so. <laughs> <laughs> See? So any question? Hanaton topic. Next meeting I will be uh, this week uh, mag in long quiz uh, multiple choice with a timer. So please ano na lang, review our topic na na-discuss from the very beginning para ano uh, um, smooth lang ang aton uh, pag-answer natin quiz. So the quiz will be posted on our Google Classroom. So it's a long quiz, multiple choice. So uh, I am expecting that uh, everybody will participate. Uh, it's a graded quiz. So, and also it's a timer. Uh, it is a, with a timer quiz. So, definitely, and waray maka start or waray maka check or waray maka uh, answer and yara quiz online. Uh, maglalaps. So, mag expire and quiz for certain hours only so i am i will be posting the schedule kung when ko ipopost ang quiz and then you need to answer it online through our google classroom so thank you guys we have only two remaining minutes two minutes so <laughs> So, thank you for your time. Pasensya na kay na-extend na ito ng oras. Late na kasi kami nakagawa sa office. So, I wasn't able to make it by 6.30. So, kahit pa paano, uh, you extended your hours for our online class in value-added tax. So, any question? Hello? By the way, the PDF file for this presentation will also be posted to our uh, FB group, closed FB group, para you can review and then any clarification to our discussions tonight or even the previous discussions, you can uh, send a message or do a comment on the on our FB account. So thank you guys and have a nice evening. Hope you have already done with your dinner. Sir, my eyes <laughs> yes, uh, 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 I will be giving you handouts for value added tax. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And also for our long quiz, it's a long quiz regarding value added tax. Magsasawa ka mo. Balit. So our long quiz with uh, at least 